I just wanted to quickly say be sure to join the Discord server um, just because I think I might create a poll soon to do with future possible series, okay? Link in the description. This tutorial is going to cover some of the issues we created from the last video, including the enemies walking sideways and following you through different rooms, okay? Uh, we want them to be, if we have a look, let's go to our main. Um, we just go to the scene. They're all over the place, right? They're all walking around, going for a wonder, which is nice. Good to know that they're spawned in, right? But uh, we want them to be segregated to their specific rooms, like how a camera is, okay? See that? Okay. If we go to our room controller, and we have a look down the very bottom, it's a very big script now, on player enter room. So when the player enters room, um, what we can do is we can change the enemy's state so they are wandering and then they are attacking, okay? But so long as we're not in the room, we want to change it back. So what we can do um, is we can call update uh, rooms, okay? And they're not updated. Update rooms. Okay. And what this can do is we'll make it a private void. Okay. And we can say, well, for each uh, room, room in um, loaded rooms. Okay. And we can check, well, if our current room is not equal to our room, okay, then um, we can update the, I guess we can update the enemies respectively. So we can go enemy controller and we can create an array of enemies. And this can be our room dot get component in children or get components because we want to grab multiple enemies. So we want to grab all of the enemies that are instantiated within our room. Okay. And so long as our enemies are not null, so so, so long as we don't have an empty room, we can check. Well, for each enemy, so enemy controller, enemy in enemies, okay, um, we could set a variable. So we could go enemy dot, enemy is an enemy controller. So we could go enemy dot not in room, and we set that to true, okay, and Maybe we could just leave a debug log now. So debug.log, um, not in room. Okay, simple. Now, if it is the current room, however, so else, uh, what we can do is basically the same thing. Okay, so I'm gonna copy it and paste it within my else clause. And instead, I'm going to set this not in room variable to false, okay? And I can just say in room, okay? So now we need to update our enemy controller. The first thing we want to do is we want to create a variable. Um, so this could be a public ball uh, not in room, okay? And I guess by default, we could say, we could assume they are in the room until, or now we'll assume that they aren't in the room to start off with, okay? Now, we also need another state for our enemies. So we need a sort of idle state or a waiting state, okay? So I might just write idle in my enemy states, okay? And we want our default state to be idle, 
right there and we also oh we don't have it set here that's cool we also need to switch based on our current state so if we are in enemy state dot idle okay um we might do something like idle whoops no i log handle i do okay and make sure you break that break off easy alrighty so I think the next thing we want to do is we also want to check we don't want to be updating our follow wonder and our attacking if we're not in the room so we can just wrap this within an if statement and we can say well if we're not not in the room okay so if we are in the room then we may do all of that okay but I guess else if we are not in the room then we can make sure our current state is equal to enemy state dot idle okay if we go ahead and just have a look they're all moving towards the left not really wondering oh they are okay now this would be because um, this only updates when we enter another room so if I go into this room and we have a look they're all frozen now except for the ones that are meant to be in this room initially what we would like to do here is run this at the start I guess after they've been instantiated right so back in our room controller where we update our uh, rooms okay so if we have spawned the boss room and we haven't updated our rooms then we're gonna update our rooms and after we've removed the connected doors um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just call uh, our methods so update rooms okay now this will check uh, this will make sure the enemies are frozen or not frozen depending on what room they are in so this one was spawned in my room that I'm in okay so they're all frozen they're still choosing uh, directions but that is okay because we aren't seeing them um, if you'd like to fix that, that's just a matter of making sure that they don't wander at all at the start. Now, if I head over into this room, the enemies start chasing me, okay? So that's pretty cool. They chase me, and if I get out of this room, into this room, you can see that they're frozen again. So, that's actually pretty cool. Everything works. So I just want to say um, sorry again uh, for not for the delay on this video and <clears throat> I will make sure to get a <clears throat> maybe some sort of uploading schedule for the future okay so I'm sorry for delaying the video um, by a few weeks it was a long time and it is something that I mean, it was a pretty short video. Um, it's only really like two extra functions we had to write or something of the sorts. Um, so yeah, if you enjoyed this video, uh, be sure to leave a thumbs up for some more content. Make sure to subscribe as a bus room. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.